Okay, so we're testing to see how well this is working on the Quest Pro and kind of see I can move my nose a bit side to side, you know, I'll close one eye, close the other eye. It's actually pretty neat. So I can like look around and it looks a bit more alive. So. I think it's just better when you can have all this extra movement and when you're talking, it just looks nicer in general. I really like it when it works well on VC face. So this is pretty cool to see it like this. And uh, yeah, excited. This is the Tosca model of the Pupper HD. And I've seen quite a few models that have all this going on. So if you have a Quest Pro, uh, this works really, really, really well. So I really like it. Yeah, I can smile and show my teeth. It's like that you can, you know, wiggle around. Well, I can blow my cheeks up. And it looks pretty cool. It actually just adds another dimension to playing uh, this this game. So I know some people don't like it that it can track your eyes. You can take that off if it bothers you. But I really like all the extra uh, <laughs> expressions that you can make with your mouth. You can smile. I'm just like, yay, and kind of squinting my eyes. So it's pretty neat. So this is one of the other models that people really like using. Um, and this one has all the facial features activated. This one actually moves really, really well, too. So did a really good job on uh, this character. And the part that you can, of course, interact with everything. I can really, you know, if I close one eye, one ear goes down, the other ear goes down and close both eyes. So it's pretty neat. This one, I like that the whiskers move and stuff. Never really use these, but um, I see them used a lot. So I wanted to see how well this one tracked. This is one of the freebie models. I got this one on uh, Jerry's mod and um, I got a couple of models in there to test all the movements for these characters because I haven't rigged a character yet that has all these features so I wanted to test uh, some that already have it all uh, in here so I'm running this uh, through the Quest Pro but I have it air linked onto the computer and I'm also running another app in the background so it can read um, well I guess it allows the all the information that it is reading to pass it back into VR chat because uh, the mouth and um, yeah, it's like mouth expressions and stuff are not native yet. I know the eyes are native now. So when you look around, you can kind of, <laughs> um, it looks that that actually works like natively with everything, the eyes, but you can turn that off too. Uh, but the mouth itself is not native. So I got to run, this like VRC face tracker app and um, and it works. So I was having issues with it not tracking correctly before because it was having issues with my firewall, but I will link um, below if you're on Twitter, I'll, I'll link the tutorial I used to get this to work. This requires, of course, a headset that allows you to, you know, have all these movements. Not every headset will work right now. The Quest Pro is the one that I knew would work. Um, I know there's others that have it as well, but this one actually works really, really well. You can kind of see. This one's just easy. You move around. So it looks, it looks really nice. So let's test another one so you can see how well they all look. This one's a tiny one, which is so cute, but it works really, really well with uh, the Quest Pro. Oh, I love the wings on this one. So I haven't been on VR chat in a while. Uh, so getting back into it has taken me like a little bit. I was having a lot of issues with my index. Just I was just getting so sick 
And weirdly enough, the uh, Quest Pro has been really easy on my eyes. I mean, I still get a little dizzy and stuff because I've been out of playing this for a while. But um, yeah, I can stay in this one a lot longer. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like I'm running it at a higher resolution. But um, it's just really comfortable. It doesn't squeeze my head so hard. So, of course, the way I have it set up right now, I'm actually just sitting in front of my desk, so I'm not really, you know, moving, moving. But um, I'm very happy with the whole facial tracking. For me, it adds a lot more to puppeteering. It makes it a whole lot better because it just feels more alive. And like I would mentioned before, it's just the same reason I like using the VTubing avatars because I really like all the facial tracking that I get by using the iPhone to read all the points. This one's such a cutie. Eee, I like his little teeth. 